Hi, this is Reddy Biggs. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to access the Dexcom Continuous Glucose Sensor information from inside eClinicalWorks. This assumes a few things. First, that you have the Helo Hub enabled on your system. Most have it enabled by default, but if yours doesn't, you may need to contact support. Next, be sure you have your patient signed up for your patient portal and that they've linked their Dexcom Clarity account to Helo as a tracker device. My part one video shows how to exactly do that, so if you haven't seen part one, go there first. Finally, you need to have Adobe Acrobat installed in order to see those reports. I'm going to show this twice, once for the traditional executable version of eClinicalWorks and again for the newer version 11 Chrome browser version. Then we'll do a brief mention about reimbursement. Let's get started. We're going to start with the EXE version. Find the Helo Hub icon, which is in the center upper part of your progress note. You can use any progress note, even a progress note that's old and has been locked. Once you've clicked up the Helo Hub, choose the Trackers header. Then find the orange button that says Tracker Details. Click on that. You should see a blood sugar box. Click inside of the blood sugar box and it will come up with these reports. You can change the date of the Dexcom reports, then click Generate Reports. It defaults to two weeks. It takes a few seconds to generate the report. Then you get a blue link that launches a PDF. This is the complete Dexcom Clarity Report. It includes the glucose management indicator, which is a new feature of Dexcom. You can see each day's report for the last two weeks uh, and the glucose levels in a modal day report and the Dexcom AGP report. Once you've reviewed all of the reports, you can then choose to uh, print them out or save them to disk. If you save them to disk, it's got a random hash of numbers, so you need to change that to something you can use and then attach to the patient's chart, or you can print it out. Note that when it prints, it's de-identified, so it doesn't have the patient's name or their device serial number on it. So that's all there is. You can then back out and go back to the progress note, click out of the Helo Hub, and you're back where you started. So let's try the same thing in the Chrome version. So we'll jump over to Chrome. The Helo Hub is in blue, and it's got a little blue arrow squiggly tracker icon. So click on that. I click on the word trackers. It takes several seconds to launch the tracker system. Once it does, again you'll see an orange button in the upper right that says Tracker Details. Click on that. Scroll down to find blood sugar and click within the box that says blood sugar. You'll see the glucose, the Dexcom reports. You can choose the dates, then click the Generate Report button. Just like the EXE version, you'll get a blue hyperlink that launches a PDF for you. The reports are identical between the two versions. You can again see the glucose management indicator, average glucose, time in range, and the percentage of time that the device was active. Once you've been able to scroll down and visit, uh, visualize uh, the entire report, you can then again choose to download or print the entire report. Our patients typically have two weeks or more of CGM data that they submit and we review. However, if they have at least 72 hours and you save a copy of the PDF and leave an interpretation in a progress note or telephone encounter, then you can bill a CPT code 95251. A couple caveats, you can't report it more than once a month or in conjunction with the 99091 code. Well, that's everything on how to use the Dexcom CGM and connecting Clarity to eClinicalWorks and viewing the reports. I hope you found this useful. If you did, send me a note. Thanks. Bye-bye.